Hi there. My name is Ian Sharp and I will be teaching you during the EAS 354 field school in Costa Rica. Today we're going to learn how to use the hemispherical camera. So we will be using the Nikon Coolpix 4500 and as you can see here there are a couple of buttons so we take the lens cap off like this so just to power it on or power it off you just pull this trigger and you'll hear the noise and the light go on which lets you know that the camera is now on now this camera has the advantage of being able to turn just like that so that when you're actually taking the picture you can look at the screen whilst the picture is being taken. The second part to the hemispherical camera is the actual lens. So the lens will be in this bag attached with us and as we can see here right at the base there's some threading. The threads will thread right into the camera lens. So just put it on top Screw it in like this, and there you go. So, when you're taking the picture, the important thing to remember is that the lens captures everything in 180 degrees of it. So, if you're taking a picture here, somebody is standing over there and is above the height of this lens, this lens will capture that person. So, when you're taking the photo, what you should do is you should remember to always squat down. You want to take it at the same height as your diameter breast me measurement, so at about 1.3 meters. And then all you have to do is make sure that the top of your lens right here is pointing north. So you want to do that with your compass. And then once you know it's pointing north, you want to start taking pictures. And usually you want to take a couple because sometimes with the clouds moving some will capture glare spots of the sun some will not and what you want to do is usually take the picture when the clouds are covering the sun if possible if not then you want to keep on moving the camera until you can get underneath a leaf or some canopy just to reduce that glare because when you start processing the images later the glare spot is going to become a real big problem. So once you've taken a couple of pictures, record them in your journal, and then that should be